So I want to teach you a few new concepts in Excel and Power Query. We're going to start with a file like this, which is a CSV file, which has some sales data for different cities in different countries. And we're going to learn how to load the data, how to extract the country from this, aggregate the data by country, and at the end, create a map like this one. And all in very few minutes. So we're going to start with a new Excel sheet. We go to view, we remove the grid lines, then we go to data. There is this tab, get and transform data. If you don't have it, it means your Excel version is before 2016, but don't worry, there is a free add-in called Power Query. You can just install it and then you can start the work. So I'm just gonna select this one, which is from text CSV. Then I can select my file, which is raw data. Now Excel Power Query, open the file and try to see what's in the file. It correctly identified that my delimiter is a comma and it's showing me the data. It looks fine. Let's go and transform it. So if I look at this, it has changed the type and it has promoted the header. So the types are correct. I can check this is my sales data, all looks good. And then the headers are fine. However, my problem, is that I want the country. So here I have some cities and the country is into the parentheses. So I can select the column, then I go to transform and then I have extract text between delimiters. Why? Because all of them are between the parentheses. So I click on it, then I have the start of my parentheses, the end, I say okay. You can see that the country is coming correctly. I'm just going to change the title of this, make it country. And then if you see here for France, I have a lot of sales, right? I need to aggregate them by France, Germany, etc. So I can go to transform and I have group by. I click on group by. What am I doing? I'm putting by country, right? Because I want my country. And then the column name will be total sales. So we give it a name. Then what do we want to do here? It has the count of rows. We actually want to sum the sales. And then the column is my sales. Then I press OK. You can see that now I have the sales by country. I can just call this final result. And then I can just do close and load. So here the data will get loaded. If you can see, we have all our countries and we have the sales. We can just format this by going to home, clicking on this one, and then removing the decimal points. Then we can select our data. We go to insert, map. This is something that you will see in Excel 2019 and Office 365. If you don't have it, you can put something else. That's fine. So here is the map. If you see, it has shown me part of Europe and my data points. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the labels. I'm also going to do view grid lines. So we remove the grid lines. I'm just going to give it a title, total sales. Go here, bold. The color of my title will be this. And then I can just double click and I get this window where I can just play with the settings. So if you go under total sales, the series total sales, under these three bars, you have some options. So the map projection, you can change. For example, now we have Albers. If we do Miller, you can see that it changes. Mercator, it also changes. So I'm just going to keep it to automatic. And then the map area, here we have, I think, multiple countries and regions, it's automatic, but I can either show the word, for example, which is not good in this case, or what I want to do is only regions with data. So here now our map looks better. Then map label, we can do best fit only, so we can start seeing some of the countries. Now for the legend, I can click on it, I can put it at the top, then I make my graph a bit bigger so I can see more.
I can also remove this border that we have. So if I do this, I go to borders, I do no line, fill, no line. So now our map starts looking better. The last problem I have is the colors. So again, we go back here, series total sales, and then we have series colors. Here I have sequential two colors. You can have three colors and I can choose. So for example, I'm gonna start with this red for the lowest values and for the highest values, I can have this blue. So this is to showcase the power of group by. Please let me know in the comment section whether you use group by a lot and it would be great if you can like this video and subscribe to the channel.